welcome you to this episode. Hope you enjoy it. Um, got a bit of a verge hunt. Also, uh, at the end I've added on, we went to a 1920s uh, dance function and I was able to provide them with uh, 1920s coins, half penny pennies, uh, and all the silvers for that time. So that was interesting. Also at the end you'll see uh, the one of the girls, the closest to the stage on the right, she made her dress that day of the event and when you see it it's pretty impressive so uh, they all were gi I gifted uh, four 1922 pennies uh, for the for the organizers and then uh, they they gave them as prizes to those people who you see dressed up all right enjoy the episode and give us a comment and we'll catch you on the next one just in this you can see where the old letter boxes this is the front verge of where these houses were they've been knocked down just got an 80s signal here, and I've got, got one about an 82, 83 here, and it's uh, pretty solid. There it is, two cent. Uh, 75 here, pretty solid. Like a piece of maybe a cable join or like a cable join lug or something. 75 to 80 here, 5 to 10. Uh, pretty solid. Uh, it's probably a bottle cap. Yeah, Coca Cola. Like a 63 here. Could be a bottle cap or a 20 cent. It's sort of in that range. Oh, what do we got? <laughs> 20 cents. A little bit bent. 1982. 20 cent. Here with our 20 cent. Now uh, I've got a 78, 79 to 80. Uh, I can see the rim of a can. Probably a drink can or something. Yeah, I've okay, got like a 10, 10 to 15, Ooh, right there. Got quite a, a strong 80. Did have iron audio to it, so it could be a bottle cap. And yes, it was a bottle cap. Should have listened to the iron audio. This was. 75, quite strong. Oh, what do we got here? Oh my gosh. This is a 1938 half penny Commonwealth of Australia. You can see that. Ha, huh, what a surprise. 1938, on the verge of this old demo site. I figure people park their cars and jump out and stuff like that over the years. 1938, I'll take it. Awesome, half penny. There's uh, George on there. Get over that Commonwealth of Australia. Half penny, awesome. Um, right, I've got something here, 76. It's a little bit funny, signal, scratchy. Oh, right there, something there. Oh, look at that, look at that. Can you see it? There's a live dig if I've ever seen one. It's a uh, scouting $1 coin. Awesome. 2008. Coming away from that dollar. Got a bottle cap. She's going dead. Five to ten centimeters, seventies. There we go, we might be on the money here. Oh, yes, 
totally on the money. Look at that. Just came out the hole. Let's try and pick it up. You can see the mark in the dirt there. There it was. Two dollars. Awesome. Ooh. Okay. Perfect coin target sound. In the eighties. And it's five centimeters. So let's have a look. Ah oh, look. One cent. Down here, uh, and often you'll attract attention. Just have this magpie. He's hanging around to see see what I'm up to. See if I can get it to zoom. He's sitting around watching me to see what I'm doing. I've got a 75, 5 to 15 centimeters deep. So I'm just going to give this a quick check. Coming right down there. That's a bottle cap. Well, let's check it again. Something right near the top, five centimeters. It's definitely in the 80s. Oh, it's a aluminum can. Right the letter box. Got a 63. Pretty solid. I didn't do iron audio. I can see traces of rust here. Metal. Strong 80s and it's jumping around, but I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. Probably a one cent. Sitting on the top. Yeah, one cent. Alright, this is pretty solid. 80, 82. Small, small target. Give it a try. Copper pipe. Alright guys, well as you as you can see that Verge produced a two dollar coin, one dollar coin, uh, one cent, two cents, twenty cents, and also a nineteen thirty eight half penny, which I was pretty impressed with that. Commonwealth of Australia, which I like finding the Commonwealth of Australia ones, obviously because they're older. So, awesome. So Two dollar. One dollar. Twenty cents. Commonwealth of Australia. Nineteen thirty-eight half penny. Two cents. One, two, three, one cents. Okay guys, now I recently put on a limit switch for my Pro Pointer. But I found out, as you can see, that it's faulty. So, I'm going to have to take it off and redo it again. The quest for the pin pointer switch. Now I've got another one, this is going to be my next attempt. And hopefully this works. I'm getting really sick of this. But at worst, I'm going to have to ask Garrett for another push button switch so I can solder it on the board. But I'm going to go with this now. So here we go. Version. How many versions is this now? One. I've lost count. Two or three. So now. A little toggle switch. 
She's up and operational. Had to tape that on really tightly. But uh, dirt might get into that. That's the only problem with this. So, All right. But it works. Now here's uh, from the Roaring Twenties night that we went to. A little bit of footage uh, from on the night. Uh, I, I did have more footage of the band playing and stuff, but thought it's all copy, copyrighted music, so um, I had to cut it out. It, would, it did make it better, but you know how it is. So the girl on the far right that you'll see, uh, I've even had to cut that clip down because of the, the music that was that was part of uh, in the background. So um, the girl on the far right, she made the dress on the day uh, of the event, so that's pretty cool. Another big round of applause for these folks right here. Oh yeah, there we are. Oh, there we are. Okay, just taking you into the bathroom. I'm going to quickly film what I showed at the 20s dance night, what I provided them with as a display. Uh, one example of a, a 1924 half penny, because I don't have half pennies for all the years of the 20s. But I did give them a 1920, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, right through to 29 of the pennies, one for each year, a 1925 three pence, a 1925 six pence, a 1920 one shilling, and a 1927 uh, one florin, two shillings, and the commemorative 1927 of the Parliament House of Australia, the first Parliament House being open. So that's the florin. So that's what I showed at the uh, at the twenties event. All right, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, at the bottom of the screen here, I'm putting my Aussie Coin Hunter email address. And um, so feel free to contact me. I'd love all my subscribers uh, if you could send me an email with your YouTube um, name, and then when the uh, and, and let me know if you want me to send you uh, a notification of when my latest email, um, sorry, my latest uh, episode has been put onto YouTube. All right, take care and just remember, just because you can't see anything doesn't mean it's not there. All right, take care. And good luck out there. Bye for now. Now on the bottom of the screen is Aussie, my Aussie coiner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> need to send you a notification uh, of when my latest episode is being put has been put onto the internet. <sighs> Bye guy, uh, and then when the uh, and let me know if you want me to send you uh, a notification of when my latest email, um, sorry, my latest uh, episode has been put on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many times I've tried to do this is ridiculous.